Whoa, shit! For the best and most immersive experience, please use headphones and in-game voice chat. Phasmophobia uses voice recognition. Please set your default Windows microphone to the microphone you want to use. Wait, have I done that? So we're gonna play a game called Phasmophobia, which is a game that is highly recommended on Steam. It is something that people say is more scarier than Outlast. Well, when I say people, I say my brother who recommended it to me last night. So I'm going to try this out and just sort of see how scary it actually is. It advertises itself on photorealistic uh, graphics and 10 different ghosts or something. So, uh, let's just go ahead and pick this language, voice recognition. To set up your voice recognition, please go to speech settings on Windows. Okay, um, <laughs> so we need to go to our settings on Windows. Speech settings. Okay, so it is it is recognizing my, my microphone here, so that's a good thing. Make sure there's an English speech pack installed. What? This is getting complicated. Install voice packages, English, United States. So it is like it's supposed to be. I can get started on this game here. Accept photo sensitivity warning. This game contains flashing lights. A very small percentage of people may, okay. So flashing lights warning for people who are sensitive to that sort of thing. Um, we have stats and money. Wait, what? Daily challenges survive with only the starter items. Um, so I can do training, uh, master volume, microphone, test of voice recognition. Is this actually, Give us a sign. Okay, well it works. It, it, it picked it up even though I set a bunch of things beforehand. That's awesome. Yeah, so everything's working. Um, you can play this in VR if you want to. I do have a VR set up, but one of my controllers broke. So I can't play this in VR, although I would wish that I could play it in VR. Um, I am planning on playing this tonight with my brother. Him and his fiance invited me to it. If we will actually talk English, I will make sure to record it. Training objectives. We found a non-violent ghost that you can use to train your ghost hunting skills. We've already located the ghost in the living room. Head inside and read the slideshow we have set up for you on the TV. Okay. Team Sanity. Oh yeah, this is a multiplayer game. Um, there are some bigger maps in here that you can play if you have multiple people. Can I pick these up? Oh, look at this. Oh wait, there's a limited amount of photos. It counts down. What happens when I when I get to uh, zero? Is it just gonna be like, eh, I can't use it anymore? Oh, it is. <laughs> I got two types of flashlights, it seems. A UV and a regular flashlight. And I got this camera that I can't use anymore. So that's nice. Uh, we can't crouch. Oh no, let's see. We can crouch, but it's on the wrong button. Which you could argue is not the wrong button, but it is. How do I, how do So this is our Ghostbuster van, I'm assuming. Okay, let's uh, take out the, um, the regular flashlight. Oh, they got. Some CCTV cameras up. Uh, do I have the key? Oh. Can I turn on the lights? Oh, th see, it's not that scary. Welcome to the Ghost Hunters Training Guide. This guide will show you how to become a professional ghost hunter. Use the T-Remote to go to the next slide. Forward, okay, so now we actually get <laughs> the tutorial on how to move around. Uh, okay, journal is J, chapter one, introducing ghosts, hunting ghosts, sanity, keys, gathering evidence, photos, evidence. Okay, so this is a guide on how to play the game. Uh, we drop items on G, like <laughs> none of these keys make sense. Primary use, right mouse button, secondary use is F. There's two use buttons. Okay, so chapter one, introducing ghosts. A ghost is an evil spirit of a dead person that feeds of people's fear. They are created from violent sudden deaths. If disturbed, they can wreak havoc across neighborhoods and they also have been known to be up to a thousand years old. This guide will help you understand what you need to do to survive. In order to discover what type of ghost you're dealing with, you will learn to, uh, each ghost's strength and weaknesses. A hunter's sanity, in your investigations, into the supernatural need to make uh, sure your sanity is kept high. All types of ghosts prey on your sanity, making them stronger the more insane they uh, we become. To keep your sanity high around the paranormal, make sure you stay in lit areas. The digital clock in the truck shows you how long you have before your ghost will get angry. 
and lower your sanity faster. Use this time to find the ghost and set up equipment. What? If your sanity becomes too low, the recommended action is to leave. Uh, wait, do I need to go back out to the truck to see how long it is? Wouldn't it make sense if I had like a clock on my watch or something? Uh, a spirit is the most common ghost you'll come across. However, it is still powerful and dangerous. They're usually discovered at one of their hunting grounds after an unexplained death. Unique strengths? Nothing. Okay. Weaknesses. Using smudge sticks on a spirit will stop it attacking for a long period of time. Evidence. Spirit box, fingerprints, and ghost writing. I left the spirit box in the car. <laughs> In case people haven't seen like ghost hunter videos, a spirit box is like a little uh, digital static noise making thing that says like and then you can like hear ghosts talking between the static. Uh, a r okay, so there's different types of ghosts here. Oh, there's a djinn here. This is kind of cool because they kind of got inspired by like different types of ghosts, like from like fantasy to like what is considered real life poltergeists and uh, wraiths and jinns and you know banshees demons like there's so many different things here it's awesome okay you know what photos well i took these photos already um <laughs> from the car <laughs> evidence oh so you need to find out what kind of ghost you're dealing with okay that makes sense so what do i do click the remote okay on an investigation, we'll have around five minutes before the ghost will anger and drop your sanity faster. Use this time to set up equipment and find the ghost. Uh, for today though, you don't have to worry about that. Okay, so no timer on today. Set up a video camera inside the ghost room, then head back to the truck and watch the CCTV for ghost orb. If you spot one, write it on the last page of your journal. If not, then go to the next screen. Okay, I'll do this now. How do I set up a camera? See, the thing is, my camera's in the car <laughs> and I couldn't pick it up. <gasps> That was like right in my ear. <laughs> okay, get to the car, get a camera. I think I need to drop my other camera first. There's no more photos in it. I shouldn't have spent all of them. Let's go get an, a ghost orb. Oh, that's the monitor. I was like, what? what is that shining over there? Um, so we have a flashlight. It's on right now. How do I... Okay, so a good place for a ghost orb. Let's see. Um, okay, it's still delivering, like, I, the noise came from over there. Why does it only point one direction? Oops, that's not what I wanted to do. There you go. How do I turn it around? Oh. How do I place it? Oh, okay. It's, what? no, uh, wait, pick it up. <laughs> That's not okay. You need to be able to turn the other way too. Like only turning one direction isn't really the most optimal way of doing things. So put that down. No, I kept turning it. Okay, we're good. We're good. Let's let's go watch the tape. The green button was on, so it is on. Just go in and and see what is happening. Okay, the ghost wants some peace, I bet. So let's close the door and let's go see what we get. <laughs> Uh, okay, don't put it on the couch. <laughs> oh, wait, wait, it's steady. Doesn't seem like there's anything there. Okay, the tutorial said just go in and go to the next page. We'll do that. Uh, grab the ghost writing book and place it inside the ghost room. If the ghost writes on the pages, then write it on the last page of your journal. Wait, no, no, no. Oh, where was the ghost? Wasn't it? Where was it? I, I don't remember. Is this the ghost room? Okay, let, let's let's go watch the camera again. Um, I I think maybe it also says inside the car, like inside the truck where I'm supposed to be be going. I don't see anything. Okay, let's, uh, there might not be that room. Let's take the EMS. Wait, can I, okay, see, we have the UV light. Do I need, do I need the flashlight? Yeah, I probably need the flashlight. Let, let's put this down. Let's take this instead. Nothing detected. So this one registers when there's a ghost nearby. 
from what I know. See? There's no signs in here. So there's no ghost in here. So I, there's no reason to put up the camera here. We might as well put it up in a different room. It's not in the living room. At least I don't think so. What about the dining room? Hmm? Oh, oh, wait, no, I'm supposed to talk to the ghost. Are you there? Is anyone around? Is it spoopy in here? Hello? You're a jerk. Hello. Wait, something, something, a cell phone vibrated. Wait, okay, <laughs> okay let's put this on the ground, pick up the cell phone, check the cell phone. I, how do you check the cell phone? Do I even carry it right now? I can't tell. There are like doors opening and closing. I can hear it. Okay, is that? Yeah, that's a cell phone. Okay, throw it on the ground. We don't need it. Wait, what is that? Is that a bone? I think I just picked up a bone. Are you there? Hello? Is someone here? Can you hear me? Okay, it says grab the ghost writing book, place it inside the ghost room. If the ghost writes on the pages, then write... <gasps> I actually got freaked out there. Oh my god. I'm trying not to get in like too much into the mood here because it gets, you know, a little bit too, in too intense, but this is actually freaky. Okay. Where's my, where's my ghost writing book? Um... If the ghost writes on the pages, then write it on the last page of your journal. If not, then go to the next screen. Uh, I don't even know. Where's the ghost room? Okay, you know what? Head back out to the car and figure out... Oh, there's more rooms here. Oh no, what does, what does the kid have? Uh, a car magazine? Really? I'm disappointed. Oh. This is the ghost writing room. This is the haunted room. I'm so sure of it. Who who puts up an, a, a, a nanny room like this? Okay, now we can actually see. Oh, 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 look at this, the EMF meter. 
My sanity is at 54%. Man. Okay. Um, okay, ghost writing book. Where is it? Oh, wait. It's in the living room. Okay, so I don't need to go elsewhere. Where's the ghost writing book? Ah, of course. This is the ghost writing book. Can I... Can I... I was gonna say, can I put it on the wall? Okay, let's put it on the, on the table. Right there. That's fine. <laughs> there. Okay. I can't even see anything. Hello. Are you here? Is someone here? Is anyone here? Identify yourself. The flashlight isn't working! Are you okay? Okay, so there's nothing really going on with the book. So I'm guessing we go to the next one. Grab the spirit box in the truck, enter the ghost room with the lights out and ask the ghost questions. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Let's do let's do this with the lights off. Hello. Are you here? Please write in this book. What is your name? Okay, let's uh, go for the spirit box. This is not working. Taking the corners. Everything's fine. Uh, you know what? Let's let's place this in here. Um, I think we should just put all the equipment in the house. There's no need to go back and forth in the car. Bess is here. You can't see him, but he's he's right there. <laughs> he wants to be part of this. I'll try and ask some questions, because so far, there's been nothing. No evidence at all. How old are you? How old are you? What is your name? Where are you? Next. How old are you? Yeah. Where are you? Close. Close. Where are you? <laughs> okay, uh, it does repeat with a voice, so let's turn on the lights. The voice for the, the ghost sounds a little bit too, um, too much like another person. Just like talking in a walkie-talkie, but... Okay, so evidence found. Uh, evidence number one. Spirit box, right? So I'll write that in the book. Uh, by this point, the room should now be cold. If the ghost is a freezing temperature ghost, if you can see your breath in this room, write it in the last page of your journal. If not, then go to your, to the next screen. Okay, we cannot. Grab the UV torch from the truck, scan all doors, windows, and light switches around the ghost using this light for fingerprints. If you spot a fingerprint, then write it down. Wait, the ghost leaves fingerprints? I've never heard about that before. Okay, I did not open that. Uh, scan light switches. No. Maybe I need to turn off the light first. Okay. 
Scan the doors. Windows. Do we have anything? Okay, so apparently I forgot to turn that off. <laughs> and it's showing there's like a lot of ghost activity happening in here. As well as the cell phone going crazy. So that's nice. Well, this is the ghost room, so I think we should stick to in here. Do we have any fingerprints? It's a lot of activity going on over there. Oh no, there's a downstairs! And why do you have to be there? That's a creepy painting! Okay, um... Oh, well, thank you. Wait, so you just touched the light. There's nothing at, uh, on it. Okay, let's just go ahead and turn it on. And if not, then go to the next screen. Yeah, there's nothing going on here. Grab the EMF reader from the truck. Scan optics around the ghost that is that is interacting with. Oh, but we did find out. It is reading red. So we can actually write that down because we did that already. Uh, EMF, level five. Good. So two out of three. Final step, you should now have all three pieces of evidence. I do not. <laughs> On the last page of journal, select the ghost type that you've discovered, then head back to the truck and close the door to leave. Um, okay, so I need I need more evidence. Um, can I go back on this thing? Yeah, okay, we, we start over, because I didn't find all three evidence. Yeah, let's put it by the TV instead, because last time it was just kind of bouncing around. Turn it, turn it, there we go. Okay. <laughs> Keep getting messages. What am I getting here? <gasps> wait, 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 wait! What is that? That's a ghost orb, right? But that's not usually how they look like. They're usually like little white balls. Did it just load in the clock? Like randomly? Okay, I think I need to... I don't think there's a ghost door. By the way, this is walking. This is sprinting. <laughs> it's like barely any difference. Uh, let's turn on the lights here. I don't want to um, drain my sanity. Yeah, it doesn't seem to be anything. What is this place? Oh right, that's the Ouija board. How old are you? How old are you? Sixteen. What is your name? What is your name? Okay, doesn't run a reply to that one. Where are you? Living. Living room. Oh, okay, so he says he's in the living room. Okay. Have a nice evening. Where's the, okay, there. <laughs> he couldn't find it. What's in here? Oh, the garage. The hunting is clearly happening in the living room. Uh, if nothing is going on in the living room, then, you know, everything is just not working. Um, I think I was supposed to take a photo 
with the camera that I spent all the, the photos on. Um, nothing is being scanned with the UV light. <laughs> I don't have all three steps. Okay, let's see what we have so far. If I go into my journal, what do we have? Spirit box, fingerprints, ghost orb, ghost writing, freezing temperatures, no evidence. Th this is what we have. Uh, Everything's fine. Um, whoa, shit! It actually manifested. Okay, let's do this out in the car. <laughs> this is not, this is not something we do in the living room. We do this in the car. Goodbye. <laughs> what? <laughs> Spirit box, fingerprints, ghost riding. Yeah, so it's not this one. Um, fingerprints, freezing temperature, spirit box. It's not this one. Okay. I, I think we're talking about an uni. Wait, no, that's in the journal. I need to go to the evidence place. Uni, right? That's, um... Oh, uh, what, 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 what does it require? I didn't see any ghost riding. Let's uh, let's put it in. Let's put it in. Okay, head into the truck and leave. I'm pretty sure I I chose the right thing. I don't think it's a gin. Oh, the camera's still in there. Did I do it? Welcome back. I prepared some jobs for you. The ghost was a gin. <laughs> I, okay, I, I recognize some of these things from like when I watch uh, People might not know this, but I actually um, I'm subscribed to nukes top five, which is a YouTube channel that Has all sorts of ghost videos like just put in in his video Then he shows like a couple in a row and it, it's super scary. Um, so I've seen some of these different Equipments being used. Is there more training scenarios? Oh, what what? Yeah. Okay, guess I loaded up the training scenario. It's probably the same one, right? Or not, I, I have no idea. Oh, no, 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 it's in the garage now! Okay, I know how to do this. We will do this. I'm gonna do this fairly quick. Because I'm a pro. I'll do this again. And this time, I will find out what the ghost is super fast. Okay, so we'll start with this one. Uh, I should pick up the flashlight and uh, let's do the book. Yeah, let's start with those. Can I open the garage door without having to go through the main entrance? That would be nice. Okay, so clearly this is not the ghost room. Turning on all the lights, right? Uh, Okay, so the garage is here. And the Ouija board is gone. So everything is randomized. Awesome. It means multiple playthroughs. Okay, let's start by setting up the camera. Um, I'll put it right here so we can see as much as possible. There. Okay, is it on? It's not. Okay, so good thing I, I checked. Okay, uh, let's turn off the lights and... Actually, no, let's put the book immediately, because why not? How do I... Okay, let's put it over here. Okay, if the ghost decides to write something, he can do that. Turn off the lights, close the door, and let's head for the truck. Don't need the, the TV anymore, because I know the tutorial. I know how to do this now, so let's just do it. Uh, the next thing, just to... Wait, should we... Is there any ghost orbs? I like how it's glitching into the, the floor there. <gasps> there was one! There's ghost orbs! And the, the car is going crazy! Uh, we'll wait with those two. We'll, we'll wait. I'll come back to the car. For now, let's just... Um, check it out. Is 
a very aggressive ghost. I have no idea if that's a bone or what that is. Let's see if you get some readings here. Yep, <laughs> that's definitely a reading. Um, okay, uh, we don't need this anymore. We notice that there. How do I turn this off? <laughs> okay, maybe it's on the desk over here. Did it write in the book? No, it's not doing anything. Oh, hey, hey, car keys. I'm trying. Um, I'm so sorry <laughs> that you have to listen to this. Oh no. Just turn it off. Okay. Go go in here. Go in here. Go away from the noise. But Okay. Okay, next evidence. Uh, this red number level 5. So we need one more. It's not uh, registering in that one. Um, okay. Fingerprints. <laughs> it's the next one. <laughs> Jeez. Okay. Stop it. Okay, so it clearly touched the car. Where are you? Hello. Okay, so he did register on that one. He did register. Spirit box. Okay, ghost orb, EMF, spirit box. Wait, is this the same ghost? It's the same ghost! It's a djinn! <laughs> okay, so the tutorial is a djinn, no matter what. It's always going to be a djinn. Uh, so we're just gonna head back to the truck, register that we have a djinn, which is clearly insane and likes to drive other people insane with car alarms and say that we found a djinn and we're good we're just leaving all the equipment behind as you can clearly see um, everything <laughs> inside the house still crazy that's fine um, yeah so this is Phasmophobia. Um, I think it's more of an experience if you played with other people. The first run through did take quite a bit longer than the second one, but you know, once I figured out how to play the game, it was fairly easy to just go in there, put the equipment down, and just sort of figure out, you know, what you were supposed to do. So I got to the conclusion a lot faster. That only took me, what was it, like 10 minutes? The first round took me 50 minutes, so quite a big difference there. Um, so yeah, so that was the training scenario. Tonight I will be playing together with my brother and some other people. So we'll, you know, do a bigger location and try to see if we can, you know, come up with some ghost sightings. I don't know if we're going to be speaking English or Danish. So depending on that, I might record it, you know, if it is actually something you guys can understand. Uh, if we speak Danish and then speak English to the ghost, um, we're not gonna, I'm not gonna record it because it doesn't make sense for you to listen to, to Danish talk. Other than that, I hope you will check out Phasmophobia. It is, it is quite a unique game. Like, I haven't tried a game like this before. There was a similar game, like, a long time ago. It's the very first game I ever played on my channel here. Uh, in case you don't know, I used to play gameplays on this channel before it became a tutorial channel. Now I'm trying to you know, not revert it back, but I'm trying to get a little bit of gameplay into the channel as well. Um, the very first game was called... Oh, what was it called? Uh, I don't even remember what it's called anymore, but it was a very similar game. You walk into a house and there's like a bunch of randomized hauntings happening every single time you go into the house. And it's basically the same map over and over again, whereas in this one we have different maps. So it is a little bit similar. 
I don't, I, I forgot what it's called, but it's uh, it was a very creepy game, like random events happened and it was very low graphic compared to this one. You know, it was an old indie game. The difference is, is that in this one, you actually get to figure out what the ghost is and then you leave. And in the previous one, the one that I played back then, you just sort of did the random events and then you had different endings and you, you know, you needed to try and provoke as many hauntings as possible. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in another one.